kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Today I'm working on a 2006 Troy built generator. I had previously done a 30 minute video on disassembling the carb and cleaning it. I think my iPod ran out of memory. It didn't like that long video. So this is going to be a shorty. So I removed the uh, carburetor. It's got a Nikki style carburetor, which I don't like. So I removed the um, fuel line from the, the tank and let all that crappy gas run into another container. It was brown. Extremely stale gas. So that was the main issue with this thing. And I have a small tank on top of the uh, generator tank with a, a little quart fuel tank with a line directly into the carb. So that's got fresh gas in it now. So to remove the carburetor, there's just two screws, flat heads, holding the cover on, the air filter cover. That comes off and then you use a um, 11 millimeter socket to remove these two. That comes off with 11 once this backing plate is off, well, hell, why don't I go ahead and do it and show you real quick. Get this out of the way and show you what I did. <clears throat> if I can figure out how to run my ratchet. So this thing sat a while. A friend of mine wants to get it running if there's another hurricane. Luckily, Hurricane Ian didn't knock out his power because he, he would have been able to use this thing. This lever comes off for the choke with the choke in the closed position. This will come right off of the metal bracket through that hole. There's a little notch there where this notch feeds into. And so this is an E6 bit. I have a, a set of security bits and Torx bits. And the E5 is what you want. I don't know why they did that. this to be a pain in the ass. But you put your E5 security bit in here. It might be a 5 or a 6 point. And just remove these two studs. Once these two studs are removed, the whole carburetor will come off. You remove the metal linkage and the um, spring wire from the throttle here at the top, and this whole thing comes off. So what you'll find with the Nikki, I've got a rebuild kit here, is this plastic assembly. <clears throat> Once the bowl is removed, there'll be a small jet here. You want to clean that out with a bread wrapper. It will fit in there nicely. I actually had to go through this one twice. I didn't use any gaskets. I just uh, cleaned it up. Took the... Uh, plastic cartridge assembly out and cleaned up everything that was under here as well. So anyway, these Nickies are a pain in the ass. I don't like them. I have a couple of rebuild kits. Mostly I go after the uh, gasket. There's a gasket that goes on this base plate it goes around the outside of this plastic assembly and then it fills in all these little gaps in here to, 
make your a seal. It's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. So what I'm going to do is um, give this back dry. I'm going to run the gas out of the bowl and have no gas in the tank. If there's a hurricane, he can put fresh gas in the tank. It'll start. If I leave fuel in it, it could be 12 months before he uses this again. And um, we'll have the same issue with a plugged up carb with root beer in it. <clears throat> so, I did have it hooked up to a test light. It is producing 110. I had it hooked up to that flood lamp. So I'm done with this project. I'm going to give it back to them. It'll be ready for the next hurricane. So in the meantime, I had a, a buddy just stop by a couple hours ago with two generators from his neighbor. Um, <clears throat> the neighbor wants to get one running and one will be uh, in trade to get one running. So I've got a husky here and a something with a um, a champion. I think it might be a Subaru engine he said on this champion. Anyway he got them here and I fired them both off with happy juice. So I'm going to rectify both of these next yeah this one's the Subaru powered unit the Husky so one will go to the neighbor and then my buddy said I could keep one I got generators coming out of my ears I'm just going to give him the second one he just has a 2000 watt little baby generator I'll give him one of these larger units depending on what I can fix I think they're both fixable with carb cleans. So that's what I'm messing with next. Today is generator day. Thanks for coming out and looking at this Briggs 10 horse with me.